Hello folks and welcome to a show at phoenix.co.uk. Follow me. So today we're going to show you the John Shenston and Son upright piano. It's in a mahogany case, 85 note keyboard. It's got the ivory keys, um, some of them chipped and damaged and whatnot. This piano has been traded into us. Um, it is an overstrung piano. I'm just going to take the top door off so Chris can show you. Uh, it looks like it's been retaped at some point. And yeah, th this piano's been traded in. This, this is the kind of piano we normally give about £200 for um, as a trade in. I'm just going to measure it for you. It's 4 foot 10 inches wide and 2 foot 2 and a half inches deep. and four foot one inches tall. Uh, it is largely a beginner's piano, hence why it's been traded in. If you've got any questions about this piano, do feel free to give us a call on the usual phone number 01623 657 301. We're just going to go straight to the next piano here, which is the Challen. Um, so this is uh, Challen and Sons. Uh, this is probably one of the oldest Challen uprights I've ever seen. Um, it's still overstrung as well. So it is in a walnut case, quite a pretty looking piano. Uh, 85 notes. Just like the John Shenston that we've also got on eBay um, at the same time as, of, as you're maybe looking at this on eBay just now, there is another video um, that's part of a tour and this is this is a tour video as well so you'll, you'll be able to see them both on there at the same time. Uh, here we go. Is actually functioning okay. Um, it's ringing on a little bit, so it's something that maybe wouldn't upset you. I'm just going to take my measuring tape out. Oh, there it is. Give you a quick measurement. So it's five foot one inches long, two foot deep. Four foot one inches tall. Um, the, the case in this one is rosewood. It's got two pedals, as as is with the, the Shenston as well. Uh, a good enough piano to get started on. It's not going to win any awards, uh, such as the, the Shenston. Uh, these are pianos that have been traded into us, and ultimately we're just we just basically sell them as cheaply as possible to let people get started. Um, if you've got any questions, again, phone the normal number 01623. 657301 check the website www.sherwoodphoenix.co.uk and we're just going to go to the next piano here we go so this is a morley upright ships piano uh, it's a tiny little piano and a lovely little mah mahogany case um, it's not had any restoration but it has been well kept they are great little pianos these and they're very, very useful for things like ships, hence the name Ships Piano. Uh, these would have commonly been used on uh, small yachts um, and small boats, maybe stuff like canal boats and stuff like that. You'll find these pianos on them from time to time. Uh, so that, that's the idea of them being so small. I'm just going to get the measuring tape out here. Um, get a quick measure for you. So it is 50 inches, which is four foot two inches wide. Um, it's 1 foot 11 inches deep and to the top with the lid closed it is 3 foot 10 and a half inches tall. Um, they are over overstrung these pianos um, which gives the, the, the length of the strings a little bit extra length 
uh, allowing the additional volume in the sound. Let me give you a quick think on it, here we go. This piano will date back to roughly 1930s. Um, if you want, we can get the serial number. Any questions about it, you know what to do. Give us a call or certainly come down and see it and we'll give you more information about it either over the phone or by email. Anyway, let's go to the next piano. Here we go. This is our Steck Pianola. You may have seen this before at the start of the year. We did sell it, however, the customer has went AWOL and we're having to resell it again. Um, let me just measure it for you. So the width of this is five foot. Um, just close it over. And then across the top, is five foot seven inches long. Uh, it is an 88 note keyboard, all ivory keys. The pianola is actually still working as a pianola. It does need a little bit of work, but it's ultimately still working. Um, so if you're maybe struggling to find some exercise equipment as well, this is a perfect, uh, a perfect mix of music and exercise. Here we go. enough exercise for one day, um, just to show you the re-roll working. It does get stuck sometimes. If you just do this, it should sort it out. There we go. You get the idea. So if you want to come down and try this, you know where we are. Feel free to come down, we're here seven days a week. But in the meantime, let's go to the next piano. Here we go. So this is a B Squire upright piano. Uh, funnily enough, this is actually the very hip piano that started my whole piano career. Um, my whole business and everything that I now do today, which is what uh, makes this piano particularly interesting for me. But this is really just a beginner's piano, and hence the reason where, it, where it's where I started my journey with piano. Um, they are overstrung, these little pianos. And in their day, they were, they were quite a sweet little piano. Um, I'll just take the, the front panel off, as I like to do, to show you inside. <coughs> Yeah, so these are, they are overstrung. Um, when I say that, this is when the, the bass strings cross over the treble strings um, in the middle here, uh, where the, the tenor meets the bass. Um, 85 note keyboard, and let me just measure it for you as well, as I like to do. I've asked measurements probably 30 or 40 times every time we do this. 
Um, it's four foot six inches wide, so it's a nice small piano. Um, and one foot ten inches deep. And from the floor to the top, it is 44 inches, which is three foot eight inches tall. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in original condition. It is a beginner's piano, but just uh, for a little bit of fun, we've been giving away an awful lot of pianos recently, but I just, it feels, I got my first piano free, and I always, I always feel it's really good to be able to give some pianos away, and hopefully it helps some people get started in the world of playing piano. It can be an, it can be an expensive hobby, but you buy one instrument well, um, and you should have one good instrument for your whole life. We do have hundreds of instruments here, hundreds of pianos, 500 guitars, and some other unusual instruments as well. You're welcome to come down, see this piano, um, and we, we will give it away. I don't know quite how we're going to do it, but we're, we're, we're just doing a big walk around. They should maybe found this video as part of a walk around tour. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been giving away pianos for, for quite a while, and we normally this is the kind of piano we've probably gave about 200 pounds. Um, for this, if I remember rightly, I think it was 200 we gave for this as a trade-in. But we'll, we normally either put them on eBay and let them go for anything between 20, 30 pounds up to maybe a couple of hundred. That's generally about the value of a piano like this. Um, but hopefully, hopefully someone can get the benefit of it. Here we go, I'll just play something over to you, here we go. Nice little piano, it's not perfect, um, but it will certainly get you started. It's in a very similar condition um, to the piano that I started on, so uh, I've done all my grades up to grade five on, on this very model of piano, so I, I know that it will be useful for someone to get going with, and that's that's the most important thing. But yeah, uh, if you've maybe not been to a showroom before, or you've not called this before, Check the website out below or you'll see the phone number scrolling through. Uh, any questions at all about this piano or any of the other pianos you've seen on this tour, just give us a call. Come and see us and we'll, we'll go to the next piano, which is just right here. So, we uh, we generally trade in about 5 to 10 pianos like this every single week. and We normally give anything from 100 to 200 pounds as a trade-in value for a piano like this. This is in a walnut case, 85 note keyboard. Um, two pedals. It's on. It's on some really nice big casters, so it's easy to move about um, as well. Some people would maybe want to take them off, um, but let me just measure for you. If you took them off, it would make it a little bit shorter. Um, it's four foot three inches tall, two foot wide, or two foot deep. Sorry, and four foot seven inches wide or long, um, some people say width and some people say length on that one. Uh, yeah, Monitor Weston, it's a British made piano again. Um, Monitor and Weston made thousands of good pianos. This one, it's, uh, it's still playing as you can see. getting started on that that's that's all these pianos are really good for at this at this point of their life to be honest um, it would cost too much money to do a full restoration on this therefore we don't advise to do that but sometimes people just like taking old pianos and doing something interesting with the case this is this is a lovely case um, as Chris can show you in the video a bit better and hopefully you'll see it in the pictures but you're welcome to come down and, and see it for yourself before you bid um, we do get loads of pianos like this as trade-ins, and there's, there's always going to be there's always going to be another one, not too far at its back. Uh, yeah, 
what we'll do is we'll take a tour around the showroom this way and we'll, we'll see what's next. So here we have a Steinmate Model A. This piano has been in a, a hotel and it has been, it's been, to be honest, it's been, been abused as sometimes in hotels they do get abused. Uh, we've actually bought this piano as a restoration. Um, however, we, we, we do our restorations in two ways. We'll either, depending on how busy we are, we'll either do pianos like this whilst we're quiet. Um, but at this moment in time, we're very, very busy and we'll, we'll offer it up for sale at its non-restored value and then we'll, we'll offer a restoration depending on what the customer wants as far as a restoration is concerned. There's a few different ways you, you can restore a piano um, and certainly every single way that you restore a piano has a totally different outcome, both in cost and the sound and the, the quality as well. So anyway, uh, the Model A, um, I'm just might measure it for you just to be sure. It's just over six foot and it's four foot eight inches wide. It's an 85 note two pedal model A Hamburg and the serial number on this guy is 90882 as you see which it dates it back to 18, 1898, I think from memory. Now, don't quote me on that, we'll check, we'll check the piano atlas, but I'm pretty sure that's 1898. Um, it's, it's in a lovely case. It does need to fully restored. The, the casework, even the, even the Steinway, this is the original Steinway fretwork music desk, but it has got some damage on it. Um, and someone's fitted a back, uh, like a back plate to it at some point probably to hold it together, which is which I've seen before, uh, but it's, it's not really, it's, it's, it needs restored. That's something that we can do as, like, as part of the restoration post process. Some people sometimes when they're restoring these like to keep the original one or like to have the original shape, but some people maybe uh, upgrade um, the, to like the modern, the modern style and go for something more like this rather than the, the, the original fretwork desk. Uh, but yeah, keep your eye on this piano because the chances are we will do a restoration on it just to give you an idea of sound. <laughs> um, as you can imagine, we've done absolutely nothing to that, it's just the way it's come in. It does still sound like a piano, but not quite like a Steinway at this moment in time. Still got, the, still got some quality in there, but uh, we'll, 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 get the, we'll get the quality back out of this piano. Should you want to restore it with us, then we can do that. But in the meantime, uh, what we will do is we've got a Steinway Model A down here that's had the full restoration. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at that as part of this tour. So this is a Steinway Model A of a similar period and it's a Hamburg Steinway, 85 notes, two pedals and it's had a full restoration um, with uh, piano restorations in uh, Buckinghamshire who do an absolutely incredible job. You probably will have seen some of their work um, online. They're fantastic guys, we, we work with them quite closely and uh, yeah, they, they, they do, they're doing an incredible job down there. You're welcome to come and try this piano out if you're looking for a Steinway. We do, we do tend to keep quite a few in stock. At this moment in time, we've got about 10. We've got a couple of Model Ds. We've just sold a Model C, if you, if you see that, and it's not, it's not in stock anymore. A um, couple of Model Bs, a couple of Model As, got a Model O coming in. Um, the Steinway Model Z over here, um, that's fully restored and it's an absolute stunner. It's a beautiful piano. Um, but yeah, feel free to come down and try any of these pianos out. And we're going to go round to the next piano. Here we go. So, here we have the Challen Burr Walnut 
baby grand piano. Um, it's a tiny little piano, 88 note keyboard. This piano has actually just recently been traded into us for an almost identical piano. Um, however, it was a Challenge Bar Walnut Baby Grand. Um, however, this, this piano has had it's, it's had some damage. It's got the it's got a crack in the soundboard, which uh, which is fixable. Um, but again, we, we're, we're working we're working quite heavily, as you've maybe just seen on the Steinway. We've got a bit of a queue of pianos, and we tend to we tend to do restorations of pianos of higher value, just because it's got a better outcome for everybody involved. Um, but yeah, let me just measure this for you. Uh, it's a particularly short piano, which is good for some people. It's uh, just over four foot, I'd say four foot one inches long, but she'll be shorter than it is wide, if that makes sense. And it's four foot nine inches wide. Uh, it's a lovely looking piano, even although it does have damage. Um, I'm just going to make you aware of this so that you can see it. Overall, looking at it as a piece, it doesn't really jump out at you, but it is there. It's had some water damage on the top. It's probably been plant pot or something. You see people putting plant pots on top of pianos all the time, which uh, which is quite <laughs> quite upsetting at the best of times. But it's got that damage on it at the back. But when you by the time you put the lid up, it's not so obvious um, to be to be honest. Uh, but yeah, the, the piano does still play. Uh, it's not going to win any awards. We are really selling it as a piece of furniture. Um, and it has got a, it's got a crack in the soundboard, so just be aware of that. But here we go. Yes, folks, if you want to come down and try this piano out, you've probably been following us all, all along here. You'll see down, down the bottom, we've got the website and our address and the phone number. Feel free to get in contact, ask any questions about this. Um, it is on eBay and it'll, it'll be on eBay once, providing there's no, there's no hiccups on there. It will be sold to the highest bidder and we can arrange a delivery anywhere in the world. So do give us a call and um, we, can, we can talk you through the delivery quotes or by all means, send us an email. But in the meantime, let's go to the next piano. Yes, folks, this is a Yamaha Clavinova CLP 265. Uh, this piano has been traded into us for an acoustic grand piano. Funnily enough, it was actually a Steinhoven. Um, GP148. The um, let me just measure it for you. Uh, so it comes in a polyester black case, and it is 115 centimeters long, 45 inches, which is three foot seven inches long, and it is 144 centimeters wide which is uh, four foot eight and a half inches wide as well. So it's almost, it's roughly the same uh, width as it is long, if you like. Black polyester is the case, three pedals, 88 note keyboard, uh, all the all the sounds that you normally get on the CLP 265. Um, opportunity to record and do as you do with digital pianos. But let me just play the piano over to you, here we go.
yes, folks, if you want to come and try this piano, um, we have obviously got quite a few pianos in the in the showroom here, but this one is going on eBay. As with, uh, there's some other digital pianos that I'm just about to show you in a second. Whether you see this in a walkthrough video or you might be seeing this on eBay, as it'll be placed on eBay as a separate video. Uh, feel free to come down, you'll have seen the phone number, the website below, and uh, feel free to come down and try the piano out here seven days a week. But in the meantime, let's go to the next video. Here we go. So yes folks, this is the Yamaha CLP645 in the black case. Uh, it's not the black polyester case, it's the black satin case. 88 notes as you'd expect, the three pedals. This is um, Yamaha's uh, Yamaha just re re released the 700 series and this is one of our X-Demo models of the 600 series um, and to the side here we've got a trade-in which was a CLP535 which I'll show you in just a minute um, very very similar pianos um, let me just play it over to you and you, you can tell me if you can hear a difference in the comments below just alter the volume, it seems to be out of in the rosewood case and that's a 635 in the black case both of these pianos are going on ebay this one has just been traded into us for an acoustic yamaha upright um so this happens all the time with digital pianos they're great for they cover so many aspects of playing the piano a lot of beginners buy them so it's a perfect beginner's instrument um it's perfect for playing if you've got neighbors and you want to put the headphones on at night or maybe you want to practice in quiet Maybe you're a bit shy to practice in front of your family. Whatever it is, there's loads of good, there's loads of good opportunity the digital pianos work very well for. But we always say that most people will uh, grow into an acoustic piano or want an acoustic piano. It seems to be what we see happening all the time as people come into us with digital pianos and trading up to an acoustic. Um, but having said that, digital pianos have their place and they're certainly um, certainly very popular just now. So if you want to come down and try some digital pianos out, this is actually a new digital showroom. Uh, we also have some really nice uh, guitars in here as well. But we, we've, got, we've got loads and loads of other digital pianos coming into stock. Uh, we've got some of the Casios in as well at the moment, which are fantastic. Chris can just show you around. But uh, before we do, we're just about to show you the Roland RD64. This is also the the showroom as it is just now. It's also going to be a bit of a live studio for doing our Sherwood Phoenix TV, which is up here. It's largely going to be for uh, demonstrating guitars, inviting in musicians, and certainly if you've got something you maybe want to show or you maybe look for somewhere to perform during the whole COVID experience, we're trying to make it a bit of a COVID friendly studio. Um, so we've been recording quite a lot of stuff over the last six, seven weeks. Um, individuals coming in and just being recorded uh, on sofa playing guitar and certainly in the showroom as well playing uh, pianos, grand pianos and you name it. But yeah, here we have the Roland RD64. Um, 
This has been traded in as well. Uh, we don't actually stock Roland as such anymore. Uh, we just we just sell second hand Roland and some X X demo stuff that we get offered from um, from other other dealers. But this uh, this is basically the RD64 doesn't come with the stand and it doesn't come with the, uh, the, the the PA system here. It's a DR30. You will see this on eBay separately. This is going on eBay uh, on one listing, and so is the DR30 and the stand. It's just a stand that we've got here in, in our stock. The, um, the pedal and the RD64 and the, the relevant cables is what you'll be buying on the eBay listing for the RD64. So it does come with the pedal, but you need to... You, a lot of people are buying this either as a MIDI keyboard or as a, a keyboard for going out and doing... Um, going out and do gigs, or should, should say piano really, but uh, I, I personally think uh, it's a heavy weighted keyboard. I always love the sound that you get from Rollins. Still a digital piano. limited on this because it's a, um, a 64 note keyboard but it still gives you plenty of opportunity um, you've got a, cool, a few cool sounds some inbuilt effects and whatnot, uh, usual modulation and pitch bend and whatnot, but you're welcome to come down and mess about on this as much as you want before you bid. We are here seven days a week as we always say in the videos and certainly you'll see our website, a phone number below and if you want any directions or any advice just give us a call on the phone number that you see below and in the meantime just feel free to come down, enjoy the showroom. We've got free car parking outside. Just one last thing before we go. We've built a little bit of a viewing window in over here, uh, which I'll open to let Chris show you out in the showroom. Just for you, those of you that maybe never quite managed down to the showroom, this is just some of what we do. This is a, about um, about 30% of the, the showroom on the first floor, where we, we keep nearly 300 pianos here. So you're welcome to come down and just spend the day we have got social distancing in place and these videos are largely shot um, at the later part of the day when we're, when we're more or less quietened off for the day. So you're welcome to come down and spend as much time as you want in the showroom. And we've got tea and coffee all day. So feel free to come down. We're kind of, we're more or less at the stage where the whole COVID experience, we're, we've more or less got that under control in the showroom as far as uh, we've got our hand sanitizer, we've got our masks. I'm actually not wearing one because I suffer from pneumonia last year and uh, I do wear it when I, when I really need to but for the purpose of doing this video it's very very difficult to get all the speaking across but everyone's got the, uh, the masks on when we've got customers in and we've got our hand sanitizer and we're going around and cleaning instruments down as they're being used so you're welcome to come down play to your heart's content and we'll always look after your tea and coffee. Thanks again for watching folks, we do look forward to seeing you in the future. Bye for now, stay well, take care.